Markets are widely expecting the Fed to pause at its meeting next week and then continue hiking rates. The latest reading showing a 63 percent chance of a hike in July. And David Bonson, I'll start with you because I sense you might take issue with my bearishness, perhaps. Uh, what, what would your view be at this point on the market? You know, Kelly, as I was listening to you describe some of those factors, I was thinking that some of them I don't view as negatives. I mean, housing correcting to a place of affordability and reasonability, I think, is a positive thing for the economy, not negative. But I certainly agree that oftentimes, though not always, the inverted yield curve indicates it doesn't cause a recession. It indicates a recession to come. But there are plenty of false alarms that have happened throughout history. I personally believe we have a greater chance than not of going into a recession. But I still strongly suspect it ends up being a mild one, much like the 2002 recession, where much of the job losses were limited to one sector and even one part of the country, that being technology, which was way overhired and frankly overpaid. So I wouldn't say that I'm bullish on the economy, but I do think we all have to have a little bit of humility here that the jobs data and a lot and even the way credit spreads have responded to this brutal tightening from the Fed. It hasn't been that bad yet. And I am open to a number of different outcomes that could come from here. Yeah, and to your point, that 2001 recession was only about six months long, and it wasn't very right. deep at all. And, of course, it had 9-11 towards uh, the end of that. So, again, just to reiterate David Balin's picks, he said some small and mid-sized U.S. firms, so emerging markets becoming undervalued. David Bonson, tactically, where are you looking? Well, we're kind of permanent evergreen dividend growth investors, and yet within dividend growth, we did super well with consumer staples as that pricing power dynamic played out as it normally does. Uh, but right now, I believe that financials got way oversold. Some of the asset managers, some of the more rate sensitive alternative managers, uh, we think there's great opportunity. And even with much like post Dodd-Frank, a lot of the sort of reorganization of our uh, capital markets led to certain opportunities. Right now, I think a lot less lending will get done by some of the regional banks and a lot more lending will get done in private credit. So we've been looking at Blackstone and Apollo, Blue Owl. Uh, Blackstone Apollo, we've owned a long time, Kelly, but Blue mm -hmm. Owl is a position we've been adding this week for that very reason. We think there's a great opportunity in private credit when some are looking at it as overdone. We think it represents a paradigm shift in how credit is extended in our country. That's exactly what uh, Liz Burton from uh, Goldman was telling us the other day. They're looking yeah. to that opportunity as well. Very interesting. All right, that's why we do it. That's what makes the market. Gentlemen, thank you both very much for your time today.